our map is looking pretty good right now. Uh, we can scroll, like move around on it and everything. Uh, but one thing I don't really like is we have like a million streets. They're all kind of colored, you know, in, in different things, like with this yellow here and the white and the, and the blue or whatever. And then we got all these like names on here. I really want like my own custom map. Like if you ever look at like the Pokemon Go map, Pokemon Go map, um, you know, theirs is really simplified. Uh, they got like, you know, it's just green and then like, you know, a little bit darker green for like the roads and then blue if you're near water. So it's like way simplified. I want something like that. I don't want to deal with um, the map that we have right now. So what, what we're going to do right now is we're going to customize the map and we can do this in like a really easy way. We can either develop the customization ourselves, or we're going to be lazy. We're going to be really lazy in this video. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to go to, uh, I think, if you just go to Google and Google um, custom Google map. Uh, yeah, snazzy maps. This is the one we want. You could go to this map style with Google. I've, I've used this before, and this is pretty good tech. Um, but we're going to go to snazzy maps because they got the one, that, the, the one map that I'm really looking for. And uh, I'm going to hit explore more down here. And we're going to look up Pokemon and just search that. And this is the one we want. You can, you can, you can pick a different map if you want, but this is the one I want to go with. Uh, it's like a nice, clean Pokemon Go-esque version of, uh, of the Google map. Um, you know, you can see, like, it's got that just heavy, dark blue for the water, um, like a light green, and then kind of that, like, dark green, maybe, like, with, like, a little bit yellow for the roads. I think this is pretty good. This is pretty close to like the actual Pokemon Go map, which we're sort of trying to emulate. So I'm going to take this. Uh, what you got to do is expand the code here um, for this JavaScript style array. Make sure you start at the beginning of the array and just get all of it. So I'm going to copy this entire thing out here. And then I'm going to go back to my Sublime text and just have my Pokemon map out sitting there. I'm going to close that out. There's no reason to have it now. And uh, what you want to do is because th that was a lot of that was a lot of text, right? So that entire um, array that we're about to put in here is pretty big. So we're going to put this above our class, and we're going to put it like right here. And we're going to say var map style is equal to, and just paste this entire array in. So I'll paste it. I'll add a semicolon just like that, and then inside the map view here we can go ahead and add in this map pretty easily. Now I will say because we're using a Google map and Google map stylings, um, this won't work on iOS unless we have an extra property in here. Um, and that's called uh, provider, sorry, provider. And we wanna set this um, pretty easily equal to map view dot, and then this is all in caps, provider underscore, underscore Google. So what this is gonna do is it's basically gonna tell iOS, hey look, um, we want to use Google Maps instead of like you know the, the the base iOS maps. Like if you're if you're looking at this on Android right now, your map is probably different. It's probably Google Maps. Um, this is I believe this is like iOS maps in, uh, specifically. So we're going to add in provider Google here, and then we're also going to add in a custom map style like this, and then we can just pass in our map style like this. And when we save this, notice what happens. We get a whole new map in here. And this time now, now it says Google at the bottom, so we're actually using Google Maps. And then it's also got that great Pokemon Go style to the map that we're looking for. Now again, if you want some other type of map style, it's perfectly cool. Go ahead and use it. But for the purpose of you know me teaching you guys, this is great for what we want. We want that Pokemon Go-esque looking map. Um, so we're going to stick with this here. Uh, video is getting a little long, so I'll cut it short here. See you in the next one.